Okay, let's talk to Dr. Buford. Why, hello, young lady. How kind of you to grace an old man with your lovely presence. <laughs> My name's Bess Marvin. I'm looking for Dr. Gilbert Buford. Well, it's a pleasure to report that I am he. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. A little lively discourse would brighten this gloomy evening considerably. This here is my favorite spot in the whole city. Delicious gumbo, pleasing view, particularly now, I might add. <laughs> hmm. I'd like to ask you some questions about... He's getting a little too That's flirty okay. for my I taste. I prefer a subject matter of a happier nature, but I do not want to seem inhospitable, so what is it you want to know? Is it true that Dr. Belay was your best friend? Well, now, I was certainly his best friend, but I cannot honestly say that he was mine. Fact is, while socializing with my fellow man, particularly with pretty young women such as yourself, has always been a source of pleasure for me. Bruno was just the opposite. Unfortunately, the older he got, the more numerous his idiosyncrasies became and the less concern about their negative effect upon others he became. How exactly did he die? He died of a myocardial infarction, most likely caused by age-related atherosclerosis. Dying of a heart attack is all too common for people who are socially isolated, and Bruno Bole had most certainly become that. Did they do an autopsy on Dr. Bole? No. Given Bruno's advanced age and the absence of any indication of foul play, an autopsy was deemed unnecessary, and the body was cremated according to Bruno's wishes. I hear that you're a member of the Jolly Rogers crew. Is that true? Perhaps I am. Perhaps I am not. I'm sure someone as charming and attractive as yourself has her share of secrets, too. Am I right? <laughs> Be that as it may, just what is a crew? Crews are organizations whose primary purpose is to put on parades during Mardi Gras. They also put hmm. on fabulous I didn't know that. Very private parties. Never I guess I learned something by playing this game. Crews to be private clubs. Secret societies is a term others have used. However, back in the 1990s, the city decided not to issue the Jolly Rogers any more parade permits unless they opened their crew to pretty much anyone who wanted to join. So, refusing to be blackmailed, they chose instead to simply not put on parades anymore. As far as the city is concerned, the Jolly Rogers no longer exist. Was Bruno Bole a Jolly Roger too? Perhaps. Perhaps not. <laughs> Which totally means yes. Dr. Bole's housekeeper says you just happened to walk in just as he was having his heart attack. Is that true? Indeed it is. I hadn't seen him for a while, so I picked that day to pay him a visit. I walked up to the front door, found it unlocked as usual, opened mm -hmm. it, and there he was, lying on the floor in obvious distress. The next thing I know, his housekeeper came running in and started shrieking and carrying on, until finally I sent her out of the room so she could summon an ambulance, and I could once again hear myself think. Then I... Well, let's see. Then I knelt down and saw that he wasn't breathing. So I pulled him away from the doorway so I'd have more room to work on him and began chest compressions. I continued until the medics arrived, but nothing they did made a difference either. Was Dr. Belay unconscious the whole time? <laughs> yes, he was. Can you remember anything that might indicate what he was doing by the front door? I mean, had he just come in from a walk? Hmm. Was he wearing a hat? Was he holding anything? Had he dropped something? An umbrella? Sunglasses? Wait a minute. Why, yes. Yes, he was holding something. A piece of paper. And on the floor next to him was an envelope. He must have collapsed while reading a letter. Do you know what happened to it? Now, I know the letter was no longer in Bruno's hand when the paramedics arrived. So, perhaps he released the letter when I moved him. And yet, I do not recall seeing it on the floor when they wheeled him out the door. Iggy. What's Iggy? Iggy. Iggy is an iguana Bruno befriended, then turned loose in his home. It soon developed the annoying habit of stealing paper and stockpiling it in the vent system. 
Are you saying an iguana made off with the letter Bruno had been reading? It would not have been the first time a missing document ended up in Iggy's possession. Rene would periodically call me saying the lizard had absconded with one of Bruno's prescriptions and would I please write her up a replacement? In any case, Bruno once told me he was training Iggy. Said he taught Iggy to retrieve the things it had stolen. So obviously what we're going to do when we're back as Nancy is find this Did letter Dr. that Dr. Boulay was reading. a crystal skull? Why yes. Yes he did. In fact he showed it to me once. Said it had magical powers. Said owning it was going to allow him to live forever. I thought it was utter nonsense and told him so. Well he didn't appreciate that at all. Refused to talk to me for a full two weeks. Do you have any idea where he kept it? No. He was terrified that someone would steal it from him. So he told no one its location. Not even me. Tell me, Miss Bess. What do you know about that crystal skull? This <laughs> Well, see, I know that the name of the game is no, Nancy Drew, like Legend right of you? the Crystal Skull, hey, and wow, there's a crystal skull that's involved in the game, so I figured, you know, it might be kind of important because the crystal skull is in the title of the game, so I figured, you know, that would be really important to the game. That's all I was thinking, really, that's all. Maybe Bruno had said something to you about it, and as it turns out, he had. That's all I know. I see. Well, much as I'd like to believe that skull holds the key to immortality, I'm afraid Bruno's passing proves it's worthless. Although it would make an attractive paperweight, as I recall. Tell your friend not to give it another thought. Do you think it's possible that Rene caused Dr. Bollet's death by, say, hoarding the pills from those missing prescriptions and giving them to him all at once? No. Had he died of an overdose of the medications I had prescribed, the manner of his death would have been quite different. But he died of a heart attack. Of that, I am certain. However, I know for a fact that Rene is deeply involved in the practice of voodoo. And as Bruno's housekeeper, she had ample opportunity to use it against my poor old friend. You're not serious. Young lady, never, ever underestimate the power of suggestion. If a person believes in something, even on a subconscious level, fantasy can easily become fact. And who knows what rubbish Renee filled Bruno's mind with. Drink this, don't eat that, this brings good luck, that brings bad, day in and day out. Even if he said he didn't believe a word of it, who knows how much his subconscious was absorbing. He was very old and vulnerable. So could Rene have caused Bruno to have that fatal heart attack? There's not a doubt in my mind she could indeed. Guess I'll be running along. Feel free to drop by any time. Okay, now let's call Nancy. Hello, Bess here. Oops. Looks like Dr. Buford decided he's had enough gumbo. He's not at Granny Pumpkins anymore? Nope, but here's what else I've learned since I talked to you last. Mm, time passes on, time marches on again. Through. Excellent. Thanks for the report. Stay in touch. See ya! Okay. So what you're supposed to be able to do is, see this is a little area where we've got costumes for Iggy the Iguana. And this is the vent system. Here, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. And you're supposed to be able to take the uh, fruit you got from the tree in the backyard. Iggy, come here, Iggy. Got something for ya. In order to lure the iguana there. But looks like he's not around right now, which is unfortunate. But when he is there, you can lure him there, dress him up like a postman, and he'll bring you the letter. Isn't that nice? Okay, so pulling on that uh, little statue torch um, light thingy is how you get out of the secret room, by the way. Somebody asked me about that. And um, I'm going to cut off here for now, and next time we'll solve a couple of puzzles. How's that sound? Sounds good? Okay, see you later in part 10.